गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी विल डिस्कस द इक्वेशन ऑफ एवोल्यूट इन ऑर्डर टू डिस्कस द इक्वेशन ऑफ एवोल्यूट लेट एस टेक अ कर्व सी एंड अनदर कर्व सी वन वी से डैट द कर्व सी वन इज एवोल्यूट फॉर द कर्व सी इफ द टेंजेंट्स टू सी वन आर द नॉर्मल्स टू द कर्व सी नाउ लेट पी बी द गिवन पॉइंट on the curve c and q will be the corresponding point on the curve c1 this is the point q on the curve c1 let us take the position vector of point p that is the vector r and the position vector of point q that is the vector r1 now we can apply triangle of vectors in the triangle opq so by triangle of vectors we have the vector oq is equal to vector op plus vector pq now the position vector of the point q is vector r1 the position vector of point p that is vector r now we are to find the value of the vector pq now from the figure we can see that the three vectors vector pq vector b and the vector n cap they are lying in the same plane so these three vectors are coplanar vectors so by applying the definition of coplanar we can say that the vector pq can be written as the linear combination of the vectors n cap and b cap so we can write vector pq as lambda into n cap plus mu into b cap where lambda and mu are scalars now substituting the value from this equation in the equation 1 we get vector r1 is equal to vector r plus lambda into n cap plus mu into b cap now it remains to find the value of lambda and mu so to find these values let us differentiate this equation with respect to the parameter s1 so derivative of r1 with respect to s1 is dr1 by ds1 here the derivative of vector r is r dash here by using product rule lambda as it is the derivative of n cap plus n cap as it is derivative of lambda here again by using the product rule derivative of mu is mu dash b cap as it is plus mu as it is derivative of b cap this is the derivative with respect to s into the derivative of s with respect to s1 which is ds by ds1 now by definition dr1 by ds1 that is the vector t1 cap and r dash is t cap and n cap derivative is to b cap minus kt cap and the derivative of b cap is minus to into n cap which are by sarit friend formulas now combining the terms in t cap n cap and b cap now from here we can say see that t1 cap is some multiple of this vector so t1 cap is parallel to this vector also from the figure we can say that t1 cap is parallel to the vector pq and therefore t1 cap is parallel to the vector lambda n cap plus mu b cap so these two vectors are parallel vectors so we can say that these vectors are multiple of each other so we have taken the scalar lambda here now we can equate the coefficients of t cap n cap and b cap from here now the coefficient of t cap on the left side is 1 minus lambda k on the right side the coefficient of t cap is 0 so 1 minus lambda k is equal to 0 from here we get the value of lambda which is 1 by k also 1 by k is the radius of curvature which we denote by rho now comparing the coefficients of n cap the coefficient of n cap here is lambda dash minus mu to on the right side the coefficient of n cap is gamma into lambda so from here we get the value of the scalar gamma now comparing the coefficients of b cap on both sides the coefficient of b cap on the left side is mu dash plus lambda to on the right side that is mu into gamma so from here we can obtain the value of gamma now because these two values of gamma they will be same so we can compare the two values of gamma 
सो फर्स्ट वैल्यू ऑफ गामा इज लैमदा डैश माइनस म्यू टो डिवाइडेड बाई लैमदा एंड द सेकेंड वैल्यू ऑफ गामा इज म्यू डैश प्लस लैमदा टो डिवाइडेड बाई म्यू नाउ बाई क्रॉस मल्टीप्लीकेशन एंड कंबाइनिंग द टर्म्स इन टो वी गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ टो टॉर्शन फ्रॉम हेयर नाउ द वैल्यू ऑफ टो इज दिस नाउ एज वी कैन सी दैट दिस एक्सप्रेशन ऑन द राइट हैंड साइड दैट बिकम्स द डेरीवेटिव ऑफ टेन इनवर्स लैमदा बाई म्यू बिकॉज द डेरीवेटिव ऑफ टेन इनवर्स इज वन अपॉन वन प्लस लैमदा बाई म्यू होल स्केल एंड द डेरीवेटिव ऑफ लैमदा बाई म्यू बाई डिविजन रूल सो वी कैन इंटीग्रेट बोथ साइड्स विद रिस्पेक्ट टू एस नाउ फ्रॉम हेयर इंटीग्रेटिंग इट विद रिस्पेक्ट टू एस वी गेट दिस ए वी हैव टेकन कॉन्स्टेंट ऑफ इंटीग्रेशन and on the right hand side by integration this d by ds is removed so we are left with tan inverse lambda by mu now from here we can write the expression tangent of a plus integral tau ds is equal to lambda by mu now we have already obtained that lambda is equal to rho so we can substitute the value of lambda here by substituting the value of lambda this expression is equal to rho by mu from here we can find the value of mu so mu is equal to rho into cot of a plus integral tau ds now we have obtained the values of lambda as well as mu we can substitute these values in the equation of evolute so we get vector r1 is equal to vector r plus rho into n cap plus rho into cot of a plus integral tau ds into b cap this gives us the equation of evolute c1 for the curve c we can express the equation of evolute in another form also in terms of tangent so in terms of tangent if we want to change this equation for this we can put integral tau ds because this is function of s so therefore we can take it as psi s which represents some function of s and because a is arbitrary constant so we can take its value in particular c minus pi by 2 if you substitute these two values in the equation which we already obtained we get vector r1 is equal to vector r plus rho into n cap plus rho here substituting the value of a and integral tau ds here now cot 90 minus theta that will be changed into tan theta so we get another form of equation of evolute c1 so this is finally the equation of evolute c1 for the given curve c